So before we continue to add other circuit diagrams to cover a couple of more examples, let's just repeat what we learned about the grid sizes. I was mentioning throughout previous lectures that one inch grid is to be used and then in the last one in the previous lecture I used mostly half an inch. Both of them are fine. You're going to use mainly half an inch grid to draw circuits because also the rows are half an inch distance between and for all the symbols let's measure from between the connection points is half an inch So mostly half an inch and then sometimes like on the first page when we add some circuit breakers it makes more sense to use one inch but of course half an inch also makes sense and this one the smallest size is used as you already saw when we were editing the plot frame for the pure graphical editing when editing a plot frame or any forms like title page or any other you will use this smallest grid size A so then you have enough space to move around all the texts and everything as you can see over here, these graphical lines align with the grid. So half an inch and one inch for circle diagrams and the smallest grid size for graphical editing of the plot frame, table of contents, title page or any other form inside ePlan. If you now ask yourself what are forms, as I mentioned, you have a plot frame, so your drawing area and at the bottom or in the corner you have the data of the project and pages. And then you have forms, which are all the other documents you will include inside your ePlan project, as mentioned like a title page, table of contents, terminal diagrams, cable overviews and anything else that is pretty much automatically generated. These are called forms inside ePlan. That's it, just a short video about grid sizes and what are forms. Now in the next video we're gonna continue to work on our circuit diagrams.